All right, folks, tomorrow is the day. Uh, today's Sunday. This house closes on Monday, but it's all ready to go today, so we'll take you through. Uh, this is our luxury lifestyle bungalow up here on Ridgewood Crescent. So we're going to take you in through 158 Ridgewood Crescent, and 160 Ridgewood Crescent is just next door, and it's just about complete too. But for today's tour, we'll take you in. A couple notes uh, about the exterior. We went with this nice bright white, uh, white on white siding and trim color with some black accenting, so black on the garage door and the front door and all the windows have black frames as well. Um, and then just a nice skirt, masonry skirt around the outside here, which is this gray brick color. Um, so we'll just take you up here. We've got a poured in place uh, concrete uh, front step and landing here and these are PVC uh, post wraps here that have all been painted in uh, to match the siding and then come through we've got a hanging light fixture here and as I mentioned the front door has been painted this nice black color with some black hardware um, so yeah very tasteful and we'll take you inside here we go all right, so we enter here in the front foyer um, we've got a coat closet here uh, this window here looks out to the front porch and then we've got a bit of glass in the front door there that lets some natural light in. Uh, it's morning right now so we're getting light coming from the front of the house. Uh, a little bit of a foyer area here. We've got uh, um, luxury vinyl tile flooring in this area which is really nice. And then this is just kind of a, a place marked area for future hooks or a bench or something like that. Um, and then the as we enter the house the tile comes into laminate, so we've got laminate flooring basically uh, throughout this main floor aside from the bedrooms and bathrooms. And um, this comes through a nice open concept here. You can see lots of pot lights there up in the ceiling. And then the kitchen here is uh, really, really nice, kind of white on white again, staying with a similar theme to the outside. We've got a black uh, Moen sleek faucet here and We've got all the appliances in now too, so that's kind of nice to see. And um, yeah, we've got this faux uh, marble countertop. It's a laminate countertop, but it's actually made to look like a full grain marble, so that's a really nice touch too. And then um, we've got lots of uh, drawers here, so lots of pots and pans drawers, which is nice too, as opposed to just having straight cupboards everywhere. Um, and then, of course, we've got walk-in pantry here so there's motion light comes on there as we come in so walk-in pantry lots of nice shelving in there lots of places to keep all your good stuff that we seem to accumulate in kitchens um, this particular unit does have a gas uh, range which uh, is the customer's choice in that case so I'll just bring you back around here um, this is laundry room, so this is kind of a laundry room, mud room. That door right there goes out to the garage, which I'll show you in just a minute. Um, we're set up here for a stackable washer and dryer, which is in place. And then we've got a uh, sink and vanity uh, cabinet here as well in the laundry room. And then just beyond that, we've got a good sized coat closet there as well. Same luxury vinyl tile here. Uh, that we had in the front foyer there as well. So just show you the Garage here really quick. So single car garage in these units. The one nice thing is that is a 10 foot wide door um, So it's a single garage, but it's a good wide single garage and it gives you lots of room to get your vehicle in and out We've got belt drive garage door openers in here um, Which are very very quiet and then we've just finished off um, all the uh, garage walls uh, they're insulated, drywalled, uh, mudded, primed, uh, so that they don't take on moisture from vehicles over time. So, nice little garage there as well. Uh, I should mention too that these units are uh, about 1,250 square feet um, and uh, one bedroom on the main floor, but tons of potential in the basement. And uh, we'll take you down to the basement. The basement in this one is unfinished, but we'll take you down there in a minute and just show you the potential. Um, with the stair railings here, we've done uh, just a very simple, again, keeping with that black and white theme, very simple post and rail with some metal, black metal spindles there, which is a really clean look. And then just a hanging light fixture here down on the landing. So you go down half flight to a landing and then down another half flight. Um, 
So this area here in front of the uh, window is set up as a dining room. So a uh, dining room table would go in this location there. And then just beyond that, we've got the living room area, lots of natural light with this uh, uh, three panel door here. It does have an operator here that uh, will open onto this other panel and there's a, a screen door that just slides across there. We've got set up here for a TV. Um, and actually this might be just something to note here. We do this in almost every house we build. So in behind there, there's a pipe in the wall that comes down to there. So if you've got all your uh, components and whatnot down here, you run an HDMI cable up behind, hang your TV there, and you don't see any of the wires, which is nice, any of the cords, I should say. Um, and then also we've got uh, ethernet port here, Cat5 ethernet port that you could hook right into the back of a smart TV as opposed to running it off a of Wi-Fi. It just gets you a little bit more speed there. And of course, uh, smart TVs are all the rage these days. So we'll take you back through. Oh, just before I do, uh, one thing I wanted to note is we've got in-glass blinds here for all of these uh, uh, door panels here. So you just pull that up like that. And there are your blinds closed and it's all encased within the window of the door and you don't have to ever worry about cleaning it or anything like that. So uh, that's a really nice little touch there too. And all, as I mentioned, all those panels have that same thing. So you can close that off, get all the privacy you want or restrict, uh, restrict sunlight and things like that. So, um, and then we come through here into a little bit of an alcove. We've got master bedroom to our right and a cheater ensuite to our left. So again, luxury vinyl tile on the floor here. Um, huge vanity in here, so a nice tower on this left side here and lots of nice drawer space here as well. So tons and tons of storage. Um, we've done a nice uh, square drop-in sink here. And again, black and white is sort of a theme with this house. So we've got the uh, black fixture here as well which is kind of nice comfort height toilet um, back there in the corner as well, which is a really nice uh, touch as well. So, and then we've got a 60 inch by 36 inch um, shower, acrylic shower uh, with a bench. And um, we've got installed here a detachable shower head with a slide bar. So. Just a little something nicer. Uh, it's a huge shower, so it gives you lots of room. Oh, and one other thing too, we put a pot light in every shower uh, or tub that we do now. So it gets you lots and lots of nice light there to see what you're doing in the shower. And then we'll just come through here. This is the master bedroom area. Um, so good size master bedroom here. Uh, sort of set up for the, the bed to go here on this wall. Lots of natural light. And I can just show you the view here too out the back real quick um, so out the back we've got this is actually an elevator retaining wall just behind us here so there will be some homes down below uh, about a 10 foot drop beyond that but for the most part it looks pretty well over uh, over the top of the subdivision and into the valley which is nice too so a bit of a view there as well and then we've got a walk-in closet in here as well, lots of nice storage, high low hanging, uh, high only hanging and high low on the left side as well. So lots of good storage in that walk-in closet uh, there as well. So um, just really quickly, and actually I forgot to mention too when we were here before, but we have this set up so that there could be a patio outside of this uh, three bay, uh, uh, three panel door here to have a patio or some nice landscaping or something for the backyard. Um, so we've just sort of left that open ended at this point um, for now, but it'll be a nice uh, area to uh, slip out there in the summertime too. So as I mentioned, we'll take you downstairs. The basement is unfinished, um, but we'll take you downstairs. So nice carpet here on the stairs. Um, good bit of handrail here so that uh, nobody falls, of course. And then we come down to the basement. Uh, one thing to note here in the basement is anytime we have exposed concrete floor, we always put a wax coating on that before closing to make sure to keep the dust down and just make everything a little bit cleaner. Um, so as we come in here to our left, um, this is sort of set up here as a large rec room area um, all through this area. So it's kind of open-ended, finish how you choose to finish it. Um, and then through here, we've got it set up 
for what would be, I guess, a second bedroom here. Nice size egress window. Uh, we've got all the insulation in. Um, and this is our smart wall system here with uh, certainty membrane and that, but I won't get all into uh, the construction de details of that today, but nice bedroom there. And then we come back through towards the front. We've got set up right here for another bedroom. So this could be a third bedroom uh, in this house. And then a little bit of storage underneath the stairs there. Uh, we've got roughed in for a three-piece bathroom down in here as well. So what are we up to now? A rec room, two bedrooms, and a three-piece bathroom. And then back through this way is the utility room. So a couple things to note in the utility room. Uh, we live in the stone town, so we uh, do a water softener in every single house, and, and the water softener is not a rental or anything like that. You own the water softener. Um, we've got a tankless water heater, which we're doing in most of our homes now as well. 95% uh, efficient, so very efficient water heating system there. And um, 200 amp panel here. Everything's nice and clean. Everything's, uh, we've got a legend on here that shows where each circuit goes to and all that good stuff. So everything's organized um, back in there. And then here's the gas manifold right there showing where all the gas lines go to. We've got a gas dryer in this house as you can see here. Um, and there's the one for the range. So we know where all the shutoffs are. Radon mitigation pipe, that's something that not every builder does, but we do it in every house now. Um, just so that if there was an issue with radon down the road, it could be mitigated easily. And last but not least, we've got our 96% two-stage, 96% efficient two-stage furnace here by Rude. Um, that uh, we basically do that in every single house. Oh, I'm sorry, not last. Uh, and then an HRV heat recovery ventilator, uh, which we do in every house as well. Anyways, guys, um, that's your tour for the day. Uh, these luxury lifestyle bungalows, um, this unit here, as I mentioned, closes tomorrow. We do have a unit right next door that's going to hit the market shortly. And uh, a couple of other units under construction just down the street. Um, so stay tuned for updates on all of that. And if you have any questions, just hit us in the comments. Thanks, guys.